Introducing Dramatic Differences, the ultimate styling solution for bad hair days. Boy, those women love the product, Kim. Well, great looking hair is so fundamental on the way you Absolutely. feel. Absolutely. So true. When my hair doesn't look good, I feel terrible. Well, now we have a different scenario. You may still be wondering just how long-lasting Dramatic Differences is. Well, we have a torture test here that should prove the point, yeah. right? That's right. <laughs> In the meantime, now is your chance to order. Get the look you want at home, and it's really easy with dramatic differences. And when we come back, instant audience makeovers, how to straighten those curls without strong chemicals or hot irons, and the results of our steam room torture test. So don't go away. Before we go, we are gonna pick some ladies out of our studio audience. Who would like an instant hair makeover? Oh. Okay, um, <laughs> you back there in the green? You, yes, right over there. Come on down, and you right there in the black. Let's go. All of us, everyone who took part today, our studio audience, Tracy, Kim, especially you. You make us look gorgeous. Thank you so much. Attention. Spy TV Mobile Headquarters. Our guy is the millionth customer. Unfortunately, there's no prize for customer one million and one. Let's bring in the fake news crew. I'm Brenda Epperson reporting live for News 3. This is a big surprise. What? You are Smith's one millionth shopper, uh -huh. and you, sir, have just won, are you ready? A million dollars. No way, I just let That's... it go in front of me. You just wow. won a million dollars, sir. You gotta be kidding me. I just let him cut in front of me with the paper behind him. Wow. Is this real? You just won a million dollars, sir. You gotta you... be kidding me. Yes, sir, we are. And we're also kidding this guy. Whoa! Congratulations, sir. You are Smith's one millionth shopper, and you have just won, sir, one million Dollars, one million dollars. This is not a joke, sir. How does it feel this to is win a, joke, a million? Right? No, sir. This is not. This is not a joke. <laughs> I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Please join TV, film actress, and singer Brenda Epperson as she explores the amazing skin rejuvenating effect of a Nutria skincare system. You may remember Brenda from her work on one of daytime's hottest soaps, and now in her role as Susan on the sizzling new drama Palmetto Point. She also just released her new contemporary Christian CD. Brenda also keeps busy as a wife and mother, caring for her 10-year-old daughter and her new baby. It's a simple, scientifically advanced approach to skin care. It's Nutrius, a complete skin care system that combines a proven advanced anti-aging cream with highly effective AM and PM supplements to revive your body's own natural ability to turn fine lines and wrinkles into healthy, supple, younger looking skin. And it does it from the outside in and the inside out. I recently had an opportunity to meet with Dr. Horner and share her thoughts on skin care and how to combat the aging process. Dr. Horner, it is an absolute pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much for taking time to discuss the Nutria system with me. There's a cool feeling on my skin. I noticed my skin was smoother, firmer, and it really gives it that healthy lasting glow. And especially you for watching. You've heard about all the scientific advantages and total benefits of this outside in and inside out skincare approach from highly regarded medical professionals. And you've seen the dramatic before and after results from people just like you. Some believe that slavery ended with a civil war. Think again. Today, millions of women and children are enslaved in human trafficking for commercial sexual exploitation. The victims cry out for deliverance. Will we hear? Will we act? Is there hope? Some say yes. Hello, everyone. My name is Brenda Epperson. Thank you so much for being with us. And my guest today is a very special man who has heard the cry of these women and these children. And his name is Tony Nassif. Tony, thank you so much for being here with us. Brenda, it's definitely a pleasure to be with you, without a doubt. What is human trafficking for people out there who perhaps aren't aware of the term? Well, basically, human trafficking is modern day slavery. Talk about that for a moment because I think, you know, human trafficking is something that is, it's a term that's been used a lot more lately and people are more aware of it. Even in the past um, tsunami in Thailand, they were talking about the children that were disappearing. But people think it's not in the U.S. Tell us a little bit about the human trafficking going on right here 
in the United States. Some of these victims are actually children who've been kidnapped. Well, speaking of which, um, we're going to watch a clip right now. Um, I think is perhaps at one of the conferences talking about human trafficking. Watch this. There is no other place like it. Hi, I'm John Daly for Only in Las Vegas, a television show on... Hi, I'm Brenda Epperson. My co-host, and obviously because of the great pretzel, she's just back from New York, New York. I have been from one great hotel casino to another. Like, the Venetian, this is a great hotel casino. Now that is not bad, you know what, John? Five minutes from New York to Venice. What do you think of that? Only in Las Vegas. That's right, that's right. Now what do you feel the future of Las Vegas is? Yesteryear's thinking was that you had to force people into the casino. The casino was the be all and the end all. I mean, that's how people thought they were gonna make their money. We've lived here for years. I've been a journalist in Las Vegas for more than 10 years, and I still lived here while I hosted Real TV. So that means you're kind of famous, right? This yeah, is kind of cool, he's kind of famous. And, and I lived here during the time that I played Ashley on The Young and the Restless. So this is home for my family and John's. Yes, but not as famous as you. So we both have some very unique insights. For example, I love the way my friends react when I tell them that Las Vegas has the most churches per capita than any other city in America. Yeah, that must raise some eyebrows. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the weekend edition of The Gossip Show. I'm your host, Brenda Dumani. Now, coming up in the next hour, plenty of juicy stuff. But first, another super sexy celebrity might be bearing it all on the pages of Playboy. Here's Janet Charlton with the naked truth. Welcome back. You guessed it. It's time for our infamous question of the day. I'm Brenda Dumani. Now, in case you haven't heard, Tom Cruise is known in Hollywood for more than just his sex appeal. He recently came to the aid of a woman being mugged in London and has successfully assisted several other people in dire straits. You are so cool, Tom. So if you could be rescued by any celebrity, who would it be? Our gossip gang definitely had fun with this one. Watch this. Isn't she good? And we hope you've enjoyed this exclusive public television performance. But although the concert is over, you see our pledge of it is still going strong. Yes. So please don't touch that dial. It says here, Todd, sing like me. Come on, do it. Let's hear you. I know you want to leave me, da, da, da. but I refuse to let you go. Da, 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 da. Okay, that's, that's good. That's good. Good. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Great. So For your sympathy. Make... Great. Okay, don't block my light. Let's make a deal. We'll stop singing if you pick up the phone right now and pledge your support to KCET. What is he doing behind me? <laughs> now, Trans America Life Companies are issuing another challenge. I guess they want us to stop singing, too. So we're going to stop. They're standing by to match each and every pledge that comes in during this break to a total up to four thousand dollars well that's good enough for me hi everybody i'm brenda epperson and i want to thank those of you who have been supporting feed the children through your workplace campaigns and encourage you to continue that support hunger especially among children is an ever increasing problem right here in america get ready get set let's gossip I hope you're geared up for some high-octane gossip. Hi, I'm Brenda Dumani, your host for the weekend edition of The Gossip Show. In the next hour, we'll drop the flag on George Michael's checkered past and tell you who we would greenlight in the casting of the Psycho remake. But first, two divas on the stage at one time? I don't know, that could be the most explosive act in entertainment history. Here's Janet with the details. <laughs> And you thought I was only once an actress on The Young and the Restless. Hi, everyone. Brenda Dumani here. Since playing Ashley on YNR, I've gone back to my true passion, singing. Yep, I put 12 songs together, went to the studio, and recorded my first CD, self-entitled Brenda Dumani. I describe it as pop R&B, white girl with a little bit of soul. And it'll be in the stores nationwide April 25th. I'm sure you'll really enjoy it, just like you enjoy the gossip. So let's get back to it. When I was asked to host this special program about San Diego, I never hesitated. It's a place that I have absolutely fallen in love with. 
I'm going to show you as much about San Diego as I can in the next half hour. Plus, I have some surprise guests, and I can't wait to tell you about a fabulous offer just for you and your family that's coming up. San Diego's greatest aquatic attraction is SeaWorld, home of Shamu, the killer whale. Now, when I think of SeaWorld, I think of the great performing animals. Someone with a tremendous knowledge of animals is Jack Hanna, host of Jack Hanna's Animal Adventures. Jack, what is it about SeaWorld's animals that is so fascinating? Well, I've been in the animal business 20, 25, 26 years. I think wow. it's how close you can get to those animals. You touch one? Yes, yes. It's just a neat feeling, it's isn't amazing. it? amazing. There's a lot more to do in San Diego than just enjoy the water. You'd be surprised what's waiting for you and your family on land. Ooh, now let's talk about some soap news on ABC's All My Children, where at the circus last week, a clown's attention was focused solely on Erica Kane. Now, this made Jackson very suspicious. Those darn midgets are still after Erica as well. On General Hospital, after filing for divorce, Frisco debuted his new song. I saw it today. It was really good. It was at Terry's Club. Now, I wonder if Felicia was there. Well, also at ABC's One Life to Live, Tina finally fills cord in on the story behind the Mandoran jewels. Meanwhile, on Days of Our Lives, the evil Bamboni thinks Calliope is a robot. Well, luckily for Calliope, Eugene comes to the rescue. And also on Days of Our Lives, under the heading, Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Watch out for those women who are scorned men. Eve gets even. Now, she's determined to bust up the newlyweds Nick and April. So you know, want to know what she did? She spikes the bride's soft drink with vodka. Well, poor April. Okay, she's like this covering alcoholic. And she can't cope, can't deal or anything. So I'll be back with more movie time soap dish in a few minutes. Bye. <laughs>